others. James Bristow, Dallas Police, Major and Calderon with Dallas Fire Rescue with us this morning. Thanks so much for being with us. We appreciate it. You bet, Adrian. Thank you. Well, talk to us about the path to the championship. How'd you get there? Who and where are you playing? We're an undefeated team this year. Um, we were playing Roanoke, Virginia. We'll be coming down on the 22nd to play us for the national championship. We'll be playing at Trinity Christian off of the tollway in Addison. Okay. And uh, talk to us a little bit about... Uh, I thought you guys didn't get along. We're talking about police. We're talking about firefighters. How, how are you guys pulling this off here? Well, uh, the competition is always between us on the field and off the field, but we do get together every once in a while just so we can raise money to help others and play other teams from other cities. And you, you talked a little bit about raising money for others. Who benefits from this? What, what, what kind of people or organizations or funds have you helped in the past? I know that some of our money this year went to uh, West after the tragedy they had there. Uh, some of it will go to specific charities like uh, the Sissy Officer Fund, uh, Guns and Hoses, things like that. And we're talking about, this is intense. I mean, you're wearing full gear, helmets, pads, right? I mean, how intense does it get up there? Uh, it's full contact football, and we have people that's played in the NFL, uh, D1 college, and haven't played since junior high. So it, it gets pretty intense on all levels. It's so a lot of trash talking? A lot of trash talking. Trash. <laughs> and there are injuries as well. Tell us about, I mean, you were... Oh, man. Yeah, we played uh, D.C. three weeks ago. Yeah. And uh, going out for a pass, and a guy rung me up pretty good, and... Wound up in the emergency room in Roanoke, Virginia, and then had shock trauma in Baltimore and found out I had a uh, slightly lacerated kidney. And, uh, well, but that's just, that's what we bring. It was a totally legit, very clean hit. You just, you just got a hold of me. And you're, and you're still ready to get out there and play for the I, Yeah, I got a little, I didn't get to play enough in that game, so I'm ready to, I, I stretched out, got back in, but, uh, Tough old didn't, didn't get, didn't get enough. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, talk to us about the age of, of some of the guys who are playing and, and the experience level. You had, you, had, you had mentioned it a little while ago. Yeah, uh, what we got, we got rookies from the fire and police department, 20-year-old, uh, and then we got guys like Mr. Bristow here. He's close to 50, if not 50, past yeah, 50. Right, right there at 50. <laughs> and you think that you could keep up with teams of a certain mm -hmm. level you had mentioned? Uh, you know, uh, for, for me personally, as long as I'm contributing, I mean, age is a number. And as long as I'm contributing, and, and, and it's kind of fun running over somebody half your age every night. Yeah. And just it keeps them humble. Yeah. Uh, can you talk to us about, I mean, do you feel like you walk away with better bonds with each other? I mean, do you ever run into each other when you're out in the field uh, actually working? Oh, yeah. Um, and then oh, how does this relationship being teammates help them? Well, just, just like any football team, you, you build strong relationships with your teammates. And, and it's always a good thing when, like, I'm out of bounds on runs and I run into some guys that I wouldn't have known before. And I'm like, hey, man, we're on the same team. And, we talk to each other, and it's always a good thing. Start hanging out with each other. It's 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 great camaraderie. It's it's family. What is the best part of, of participating in this league? Because you, you guys, again, you're you're paying for this on your own. Right. Uh, so what are you taking away from it? <laughs> I think every man, especially those of us that have played before, you know, and especially guys my age, there's there's always that man. If I could just do it one more time. And for me, I, I started it last year, and just that one more time. I, I, it's it's like. Uh, going into a high school game again for you. I was that excited and that ready to go. It's a competition and it's challenging yourself and it's, it's you know, beating up on the other group. So. All right, well, we are running out of time here. Any prediction how you guys are going to be here? Uh, think we want to win? Uh, yeah, oh, two touchdowns. Two touchdowns. All right. Adrian James, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you, sir. We appreciate it. Yeah. And we're going to have much more information on DallasDefendersFootball.org on our website, myfoxdfw.com. Please stick around. We're going to be right back after this break. Hi, I'm Bo.